Hi, Dave LeBlue here with Sean O'Donnell. Uh, Sean is uh, the director and the editor and the producer of our Masses each week, and I've heard through from a number of people asking, who is Sean O'Donnell? And uh, as a brief introduction, Sean's from a wonderful family, his mother and father, Tom and Joyce. He has a brother, Joe, who's a Marine, his daughter, his daughter, his sister, Rachel, and I believe you have a sister, Christine. Mm -hmm. That's correct. So to jump right in, Sean, uh, how has your family life been during this pandemic time when everybody, is everybody at home except for Joe, right? Except for Joe. But yeah, everybody's just as nuts as usual, so that's very comforting. Any examples of nuts as usual? Uh, well, you know, Christine, this was her first year of college and she has not been too happy being stuck at home, so, I mean, I don't want to embarrass her too much, <laughs> but she ha she's not happy. Let's just put it that way. And uh, you're a recent graduate, was two years ago from UML, from the AP program? I graduated, yeah, 2019, May of 2019, 2019. so last year. So last year, yeah. okay. And what led you to your interest in that field? Uh, that's, that's a complicated story, but the short version is I went into, uh, I enrolled in UMass Lowell as a criminal justice major, thinking I might be a police officer or a lawyer or a corrections officer or something because they have a fantastic criminal justice program with lots of opportunities and going into college I was lying to myself about what I wanted to do I just had to pick something that looked like it had a lot of a opportunities. little different than media huh Digital quite media. different <laughs> um, I think what it was is I liked what I saw on TV watching shows like <laughs> NCIS CSI all that kind of stuff which should have should have been the red flag there. But, uh, but during that time, this was probably my second semester, sophomore year, I was actually an officer in the, U, in the, the UMass Little Catholic Student Union, which is basically the on-campus Catholic club. We put up, they hold masses, they hold volunteer opportunities. Uh, and I was an officer. I was the bulletin coordinator and the media coordinator, or I think those were my it was something they made up and what that entailed was creating the bulletins for mass each week and and creating little promo videos which were horrible by the way <laughs> I had no craft at that point but it was at this point that must I, have whetted your appetite a little bit though. a little bit and it was during this time that I just for fun I was creating little movies with my friends and family creating like little lightsaber duels with after effects and all that stuff just, just, just kind of like fun. what you do now with Father Peter and Father Joe. Yeah, you know, <laughs> if you, if you, yeah, you probably missed the the, uh, the first mass where we had lasers coming out of their eyeballs. You know? <laughs> yeah. uh. Sounds like Father Peter. Right? Yeah. Uh, but it was at that point where I just realized being in a, a criminal justice major was just killing my soul. It was killing me a little bit inside each day. Not because there was anything wrong with the program, with the with the major. It's a fantastic program, fantastic opportunities. It just wasn't for me. And people started saying, you know, you're pretty good at this video stuff. Why don't you consider doing that? So it was at that time that I started volunteering at the Lowell Cable Access Station. I was there for about, I think, nine months. And I switched over to the liberal arts program at UMass Lowell, which allowed me to concentrate in writing and digital media. And digital media is basically the AV program at UMass Lowell. It's all-encompassing AV includes podcasting, video, film, screenwriting, editing, all that stuff. So, so on the, as an aside to that, you're also a musician. I know that I met you here performing in the choir and you play guitar. Yes. Um, how long had you been involved in the choir here? It's probably going on 12, 13 years at 12, this point. 12, 13 years, and yeah. you're, you're a young man, so that's half your life. Yeah, pretty much. I think it was sixth grade that I first signed up for the youth choir. Kelly was still here at this point. Hi, Kelly. Uh, How would you say that that has helped shape you as far as uh, helping us with the liturgies and producing and directing us? How has that experience sort of led into? Well, not, you mean being well, specific, kind of, specifically I being a musician? A knowledge of the mass and how things should progress. Yeah. Well, I mean, normal, someone else in your field doesn't have that knowledge, and you. You've experienced it for 12 years, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, well, I mean, coming to Mass, I've been coming to this church since I was a wee boy, and which, you know, I guess at this point was two decades ago. So, you know, you, you just know the whole liturgy, like the back of your hand at, at that point. You, you can probably recite every, every response in your sleep. You know, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. You know, you recite the Nicene Creed in your sleep. Everything just comes naturally. And also with you. Yeah, I remember those days. Yeah, I was, I was, I was alive when we still sing, and also with you. Uh, and how, how have you found working with everybody during the Masses? Have, there's definitely been some light moments and some moments where we're all yelling, cut, let's do it over. It happens, yeah. Um, I'm, I've, I've actually been pleasantly surprised at how well everyone has done. Uh, and I, I've tried my, my best to keep the production elements to a minimum so that I don't make people self-conscious. Because, I mean, it is hard being in front of a camera and people here have ex expressed being nervous, which is completely understandable. It's, it's like being up on stage. It's, it can be pretty frightening for the first time. What, uh, so that leads me to my last question. What, would you what have you found has been the most rewarding to you, you know, doing your part to make this production happen and, and supporting all our parishioners? That's, yeah, um, that's actually kind of a complicated answer. But uh, I actually, this last year, I actually haven't been coming to church. Um, and, you know, the reason is because I was going through a period where I was kind of questioning my faith, questioning the validity of it, and questioning what it is that I, that I believe in. And let's just say that can, if you're not careful, that can be a dangerous path to go down. It can, it can, it can lead you down a dark path. And so being a, having the opportunity to take these uh, masses has actually been helpful in the reintroduction of faith in my life. So that's it's been a profound experience in that sense. Have you had moments where, I, I know personally, sometimes I leave here after viewing all the pictures of all our parishioners and say, geez, you know, it's pretty cool that I get to play this much of a part in, in doing that. And really, I, you have a very major part in making that happen. So I think all of us appreciate that. All our parishioners repeatedly are thanking me and Kelly and, and Sue and Kiki and the priest, you know, thank you so much. And I'm glad they got an opportunity to see you and to meet you. And I'm sure they all want to say thank you, and as we do too. So. Well, you're you're all welcome, very welcome. And yeah, the truth is, is I didn't think it it would amount to the popularity that it did. I didn't know it was going to have the impact that it did. I mean, when you first called me, you just said, "Hey, do you think we could, you know, live stream a couple of masses? You know, just because people probably aren't going to." Said 18 weeks ago or something. It was in the middle of March. Yeah. I think. You're like, it, we were just very casual about it, very nonchalant, and lo and behold, it became this this huge production, this this thing that has such a huge impact in people's lives. And I, truthfully, I was I was kind of shocked by the impact that it had. Well, good. Thank you so much, everybody. Sean O'Donnell. Hope you enjoyed the interview. Take care.